y'all, it is Nikki. Welcome back to the channel. now I have been sort of bothered by the way my bookshelf looks. It was getting really cluttered. I had a lot of books that I didn't have homes for and just couldn't figure out where to fit them in. But over the past week I had a little bit of time to actually reorganize, like just take books off, figure out how to fit everything in, and I'm actually pretty happy with the way it turned out. I managed to find homes for basically everything, and I'm trying out some new things that I've never really tried before. I knew that I wanted it to be a little bit more aesthetic and not just like crammed, and that I wanted to be able to display more book faces. I also knew that I had some books that I really didn't like the look of per se, but I like as books and don't want to get rid of, so reorganizing helped me to figure out where I can hide those and work them in so that they're there, but they're not like ruining the look. So without further ado, I'm going to give you a tour of my new and improved bookshelf. I know you don't have a reference point, but here is my top shelf as it looks right now. Before this, it was like really crowded and chaotic. I had my soft covers of the Lunar Chronicles and my hard covers of the Lunar Chronicles just like stacked vertically because that was the only way I could make them fit and it just looked really weird and bad. Plus, I felt like there were a lot of colors on this shelf that just didn't really work together with everything. Like the bright orange, highlighter orange and wires and nerve doesn't really super tie in unless maybe with infernal devices, but I don't really have that orange anywhere else. This time I actually took my new soft covers of the Lunar Chronicles, the new editions, so they're very, very brightly colored and those colors didn't really go with much. I hid them behind and put Scarlet, which is my favorite cover of the new ones, in front so that that can pull from the orange in Wires and Nerve and the orange in Infernal Devices and bring in the teal that comes in later in the bookshelf. I guess, looking at it now, this is kind of like my fairy tale retelling slash sci-fi shelf with Narnia and those are just my Narnia CDs so I'll find a home for them eventually but they look kind of okay on the shelf for now. Shelf number two. This initially was my like Christian book slash fantasy and it still sort of is like I've got my Narnias, I've got my Francine Rivers, my Kingdom series but then it sort of just became an aesthetic and I wanted to pick books to go on the shelf that match the like dark colors and because I wanted to display something here I put Nadine Brandy's Romanov which is my favorite book of hers. Plus it's just such a pretty cover that I just wanted that one on display. That's a really good book also. If you haven't read that one, check it out. Very good. This next shelf I made some some bold decisions, some bold moves for sure that I've never tried before. My Harry Potter series, for example, I have not displayed in order, which is a big deal for me because I'm typically like a no they have to be in order kind of person. But the problem with the Hufflepuff editions of the Harry Potter books, they alternate yellow and black and yellow and black. And the yellow is like not a nice golden yellow. It's more of like an obnoxious like yellow jacket kind of yellow. It's just not a nice color. So I had initially my yellow books like displayed and it was just eh, that doesn't go with anything. I don't have that yellow anywhere else. So I actually hid those ones behind my display book so that it looks like the whole series is just black, which I think looks better, honestly. And this whole shelf really, now that I look at it, is out of order. But I made the decision which kind of goes against my like, ooh, everything has to be in order tendencies, that I wanted it to be more color-based than like book order based. So like I split up my Warriors series so that the yellow could blend into the Stormlight Archive and then the rest of my Warriors books come later. Brandon Sanderson Stormlight Archive, those are also out of order, but I wanted the colors to work and go from yellow to teal. So I rearranged them. It's fine. I know what order they go in. I considered displaying one of the Stormlight Archive books because like those are my favorite books like ever, but it does genuinely bother me that like the text on the spines of the books are not the same for the whole series as I'm sure you have already noticed but I do still love the books and they look just really majestic right there in the middle of the shelf so I'll take it and then the rest is kind of just filler books that go with my color scheme ending with Sisters of Sword and Song which is also written by the Queen's Rising and the Queen's Resistance author Rebecca Ross I believe that is also a new move for me because normally I have to keep all my authors together I'm like such a librarian that way but this time I wanted it to be color based so I've split things up and you know what it's fine. My last shelf is kind of miscellaneous so that's like my Black Stallion books which I was like really into when I was in grade school or whatever but they're kind of like near and dear to my heart because my dad used to read Black 
Jack Stallion books when he was a kid. And I don't know. I, I just, I like them. They were formative. I don't want to get rid of them. So I have those plus like some Christian sci-fi plus Life of Pi and some literary stuff that I read in high school. I mostly focused on the colors and the colors like blending into each other. So, you know, that was the decision making process there. I also have the rest of my Brando books down here. Mistborn series or the original Mistborn trilogy in my British covers, which I love. Unfortunately, I had to get them used, so they look kind of beat up, which does bother me whenever I see them, but they are still very majestic looking. And then I have my other copies of the Lunar Chronicles, because yes, I have them in multiple editions. I am a lunatic, okay? I'm wearing my Lunar Chronicles shirt homemade right now. This was part of my master plan that I was actually very proud of because I have these hard covers that are on display. I also have soft covers that are more like beat up and kind of junky looking. Those are my lending out to people books or like when I want to read the Lunar Chronicles, I'll read those copies so that I don't have to worry about like keeping them pristine and like not bending them too much when I read them and stuff. The other ones are mostly just to look at, not to read. Like they won't leave the shelf. But my beat up soft covers, I need them but I don't want to have them on display so I hid them behind my winter hardcover. So they're there and they're even with the other ones, but you can't see them. So I was pretty proud of that, like pathetically proud and like a bookishly obsessive way. And then whatever I had left, which was mostly like Christian fiction stuff, I'm just looking at it right now for reference, I put on my bottom shelf along with any other like miscellaneous stuff. Right now, the way things are, there's like no gaps, like I don't have space to add anything. So as soon as I get a book, I'm going to have to figure out what to do next or start a new stack in front of everything, which will ruin the progress that I've made. But for now, that's what we're going with, and I'm actually pretty happy with the way it turned out, all things considered. So thank you for humoring me as I take you through this tour of my bookshelf. Feel free to like and subscribe and comment below with what your bookshelf looks like. And no matter what your bookshelf looks like, as always, do not forget to spend some time in the clouds today.